Jack wanted the last screw. Come yeah. on. You have one job. <laughs> Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared. I'm Tavarish. And I'm Jack. And this is Wrench Every Day. And next to me, well, it's my total cop car. Roadblock. Um, it, he's probably not repairable. Practically, ex, you know, it's, it's expensive. It shouldn't be done. But I don't want to give up on the car. I really, really like it. And these guys took a while to come down to help because you say you have a solution to my problem. Yeah, so the reason why it took us a little while to get here is because of a company called Smith Performance. And they have a kit to turn this car, which is a four-door car, into a two-door pickup truck. That's right, we're turning this Charger into what's called a ute, a utility vehicle. Really, that's... Okay, all is forgiven. <laughs> all is forgiven. I'm totally fine that you took four weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's definitely the first time we told Jared this information. Uh, but right now we have the kit on its way here and uh, we have to get to work because we only have like two days to do this. And according to Smith Performance, this should take how long? Uh, it could be done in a weekend, but generally most people take like six weeks. Yeah, six weeks. So we're going to do six weeks of work. In two days, uh, we we got to get tools, right? We like, do we need tools? Yeah, and we stuff? have everything we need. Right? Are, you, are you sure? Yeah, I uh, I didn't tell Jared what to get before we came. Okay, because he didn't know. Okay, first time I've heard about this. No, yeah, we we hadn't planned this out at, at all. all, at all, not even a little bit. Um, okay, so let's get the tools that we didn't know we needed and uh, start cutting. All right.
me. Well, that's a way to get some weight reduction. Don't need any of that. Nope. Not at all. So, uh, what did uh, what did you guys do? We uh, just made it better. You made it, well, I mean, it's, the damage is out of the car. <laughs> Most of it. Most there's, of it, yeah. There's still, it's amazing how deep some of the crinkling went. Thankfully, it doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we cut a lot, a lot out of it. Yeah, we made the uh, the best cut right here, and and it's all downhill from there, yeah, right? You only, you only live once. Just cut it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and it's funny because they're like, "Yeah, do a couple cuts," and we're like, "Eh, yeah. send it." We dropped the headliner because they just saws all through the headliner in the video. So then we came back with a razor blade and trim that so it'll tuck up nice. There's still a couple small cuts there. We added in. Uh, had nothing to do with accidentally cutting in the wrong place. Um, added in a couple little steel plates on each side. Oh, were those necessary for the kit? You know what? They're adding strength. Yes. We don't add lightness. We add strength. Right. Uh, so I guess uh, now it's time to take a drive, right? In this? Is that what you're going to do? I thought about it, but the problem is we might warp it and... I like the car and I'm excited about it mm -hmm. and I don't want to risk more damage until it's kind of tied back in to itself. Jack, you want to just uh, stand in there and then just do uh, oh, no, do some cardio now? No, 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 we'll go for a drive, Jack. Hold the stoplights and then the tag in your mouth. So we're legal. I'm not going to do that. Yes, you are. Hey, Jared, what's that? This was Roadblock's new shirt, but there's one small problem. Roadblock don't look like that. This is how he was gonna end got, up looking. It got, it got a tree fall on it. And this is all gone. Look, it, it's, it's all different now. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan ain't got no legs. <laughs> but we really, really like the design, so rather than just scrapping it, mm -hmm. we're going to do, what, a four week pre-order? How long do you think? Four week pre-order? Three week? How long should it be available? I feel like we'll do a pre-order for a week and then- It's we, gone? And then, and then we'll uh, we'll just have it out for a few weeks. Okay. If you want to order it, that'd be nice. But it's but, a limited time. It's not going to yes. be around because it doesn't make sense. So. No. Um, actually, it makes perfect sense because at the time of this shirt, <laughs> this car looked like this. And now it's going to look different. So yeah. you can only get this right now. Uh, go check it out on our Bunker branding page. Yep. And the first hundred of you are going to get a piece of this car. Remember how... I was like, hey, we should uh, save some of the glass and stuff. Yeah. Um, now, you guys get a piece of roadblock. You get a piece of movie history. Yeah, a little and bit of metal. You get a little bit of glass. Don't open the containers because you can get hurt. Or, you know, just wear gloves. I don't know. So, yeah. uh, this is a really, really cool shirt. I'm super proud yeah. of it. They did a great job designing it. So uh, It was uh, awesome. Yeah. And that's why it was like, do we let it go away or no? So, one week pre-order, then... Three weeks availability, sure. after a month, gone, forever. Forever. Hey guys, jumping in here real quick to let you know, for the first week only during the pre-order of your technically legal shirt, if you enter discount code ROADBLOCK15, you get 15% off your shirt. So you've got to use that code by June 28th and you get an extra 15% off. Order it quick. First hundred of you still get a piece of ROADBLOCK. So what do we have left on this and what's next? Uh, we have like two more cuts mm -hmm. and then we're done here and mm -hmm. then we get to open a big box of new parts. Yes, we do. A whole lot of new stuff. I am. It's going to be Christmas. I am so excited. Look, a box. Yes, uh, not just any box. It's your box. It's a box of fun, right, Jack? It's going to be lots of fun. It says Project Roadblock on it even too, so. Okay, uh, you get, yeah, un unbox it. Uh, we gotta open the, the yeah. sarcophagus here. The crate. <laughs> Let's see what, what goodness is inside. Hopefully it's arrived in one piece. There's gonna, well, it's not just one piece that you got. Good point. They don't teach you how to open boxes in body shop school, so. We just lose parts. That's right, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Jack wanted the last screw. Come yeah. on. You have one job. <laughs> Ooh. What all do we have here? Stuff. So this is the complete kit to turn your charger into a, a pickup truck. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> 
okay. also known, so some of you might be upset that we're saying pickup truck. Uh, a common term internationally is a ute. Yes, a uh, utility ute. Yeah. <laughs> utility t. Yeah. Jack, you looked at, where does that go? That's a cab corner. Oh, yep, that there is a three-piece cab corner. Let's see. Right in that range yeah. area, somewhere, yeah? Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there. Somewhere there. All right, so we should lay this out like over here somewhere. Yeah, and start getting ready. Mm -hmm. This is a nice, that's one of the bed liners, or wheel liners. Okay. Reveal. <laughs> All right. Here, Freddie, you come hold this side. Oh, you want you want to see? I, uh, I want to see it. Your masterpiece. I dig it. Okay, so we have uh, covered everything yeah. uh, in here. We got uh, <laughs> the bed. We got the B pillars. We got the sides. Now all we gotta do is uh, put everything on the car, done. which shouldn't take very long. It's done. It's done, you're finished. Let's go to lunch. Wow, so this looks a lot different, don't you think? Just, just a little bit. There, there is like a structural bed on the back of the Dodge Charger now. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking sort of pickup-ish, and it was really, really easy, wasn't it, Jack? 
Yes, you can tell by the bags under my eyes that this was really easy and it went together in about 30 minutes. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, modification that needs to happen. It's not exactly a bolt-on kit, um, but, you know, it's... Uh, Actually, none of it was bolt-on, right? <laughs> no, it's rivet-on. Yeah, it's rivet and uh, panel bond and seam seal and uh, also maybe a little bit of cutting and welding. Yeah, there's some, well, we added the welding. You can do a lot of welding. What's neat about a kit like this, it's up to you to how you put it together. There's the guidelines of this is how it's supposed to work, but adjust for your needs mm -hmm. and desired results. And we're just trying to add in little bits of extra strength or we feel like we can improve it and we're doing it. Uh, we're adding way more rivets than they normally would have you do. And then Jack had the really good idea of where we basically would peen them afterwards where he uses my air hammer and I'm holding a block on the outside and we get an even tighter bond on every one of those rivets. So, I mean, let's take a look. She's structural. <laughs> she just, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's on there. Um, so yeah. you said you used more rivets. So we got rivets here, yep. we got bolts here, and you used more bolts than were necessary, correct? In the pictures, it looked like there were three bolts. So this is the standard number of rivets here. We just uh, installed them differently. If you look at the back side, you'll see how completely flat those rivets are. Mm -hmm. And again, that's just a process of using a, a flat tip on an air hammer and a block to completely crush it. But in the pictures, these were like every 12 inches, mm -hmm. and we ran them every three inches. Just again, adding a lot more. And then these little bed joiners would normally be just riveted in, but we went ahead and just welded it to give a little extra tie-in. Those floor supports can float, mm -hmm. but we've riveted them down. Um, gosh, what else? We've done, we've added lots of just little things. I don't remember yeah. all of it, because we've just been working yeah, seam the sealer. seam sealer, the seam sealer work is done. So this right here and uh, all the seams that water would uh, pool up at, uh, now that's sealed. So uh, water hopefully will not pool up or uh, go down into the cabin because you don't want water in your cabin. It's going to make your carpet all stinky. So right now, um, now it's now it's like body work time like final like yeah we're waiting panels? for our trunk or hinge latches we are missing a couple small parts now for smith performance defense this was a they got this kit together in record time and we kind of asked for the blemish parts the couple of the bends aren't perfect the panels aren't perfect so if you order a kit it will be a lot more polished than what we've got here we kind of asked for the roughs um mm -hmm. and they're, they're working fine, but there was a couple small pieces missing on a tailgate, and the easiest solution was literally just buying a whole tailgate from the junkyard, and I left two of the parts that we needed in the junkyard. So editor Dwayne's picking them up, Yeah. because once the tailgate's mounted, then we start building out the sides. I think we're about to actually start building the back surround, so it's gonna start looking like a finished vehicle soon, which is kind of cool. Yeah, now uh, those parts are gonna go on this, and then it's gonna look like a pickup truck. You. Ute. It's gonna look like a ute. A ute. 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 Did you say utes? Yeah, two utes. What is a ute? Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Two youths.
Freddie, what are you doing? Uh, I am checking your oil because I know how you drive. Like grandma going to church on Sunday? No, the opposite of that. You drive this car really, really, like way harder than it was ever intended to be driven. It's a cop car. That's what you, full throttle, right? That, no, but your oil actually looks pretty good. And I think that's because you've been using Valvoline's new extended protection. And that features 10 times stronger against oil breakdown, 50% more wear protection versus industry standards, superior cleaning and performance with dual defense additive technology. And uh, this is a Valvoline ad spot, but we do use this in everything. And this is gonna make this car uh, basically bulletproof. That's not true. That's not, no, you're driving, you're driving. That's, yeah. not, that's not true. But that that was in there, and I was. Uh, you were, I, I went through two sets of tires practically. You were not. You were not uh, <laughs> with gentle. No, with no oil change in between, and it. Yeah. It's. It's okay. It didn't die, which is really good. We don't want a dead car. No. You've killed some cars before, right? One or two, twelve. Okay, so we thank Valvoline for sponsoring this series. And uh, not only do they have really good oils, they have really good coolants and fluids and uh, also some uh, very good loops. Yeah. Like some, uh, some the, the cobalt stuff is amazing. The, the grease is amazing. Mm -hmm. They have the flex fill bag, which mm -hmm. means you can like fit gear oil in everywhere. That's just a, that's just a godsend. So all of that stuff is gonna go into this car and whatever builds that we use in the future. So go check out the link in the video description below for all the Valvoline products that you can get.
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. From the front of this car, it looks like a regular Dodge Charger cop car. But if you come around to the side... That's the business end. Yeah, this is the party end. Oh boy. How do you feel? How does, how's, I, look at I this. I feel a little itchy, but man, I'm excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, dude, there's not many of these and we, we have one in the fleet. I, I have a ute. Yes, uh, a, I believe it's youth. You, is it youth? youth? No, I'm pretty sure it's ute. Are you sure? It sounds wrong to me. I, the, the king of American utes calls it a ute, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean on what that, look. Ready? Oh, wow. Does your Dodge Charger do that? It, it does not, no. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is really cool. So, um, what do you think about installing uh, all of this in the span of two days? Don't ever ask me to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I just disappeared. If you ask me again, <laughs> he just poofs away. You just see a dust cloud in the shape of Jack left and fiberglass. fiberglass. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of work that we accomplished in two days. This Ab is absolutely pretty amazing. And uh, what happened was there was also more work than was actually required from the kit. So like, there's more bolts, more uh, yeah. rivets, yeah. more everything, just to make everything. I mean, like, just. Give it a shake. Give this like, thing a shake. Like I'm shaking it from the bed. Yeah. That's a tail light flapping. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So, uh, you know, it's it's on the car. Uh, the car moves with uh, the entire structure. The chassis moves with the bed. So it's not like a separate thing. And uh, I feel like you should be able to take it for its first drive, right? Uh, I think we should finish it first. Like, you know, like box in the... You're saying that this isn't finished. Well, we need a window in it. The the roll pan needs to get in. We, we've got some light. There's a lot of little things. Yes. So uh, if you notice right here, uh, this still needs to get done just because this is some fiberglass work. But that's okay because Jack has told Jared uh, what to do. Uh, yeah, he, you guys are leaving. Yeah. So we, uh, we turn into pumpkins right now. And... Uh, in the next episode, uh, Jared's going to uh, do all this and then take it for its first drive, like as an actual pickup truck. Yeah, there. I have some stuff I need to go get, and Lucy might be in the body shop by then. Her time has almost come up to uh, get her tree damage fixed. Mm, I've got a little boo-boo there. <laughs> and uh, I still need a pickup truck, so I've got one. So I need to hurry up and get it finished. And uh, Do you know what the payload capacity of this thing is? Uh... <laughs> If I remember, the calculations are you take the 400 pounds or so of car you removed and add some back and uh, carry the one. I think it is whatever fits in this space, that's what you fits, can carry. It fit, fits. It, uh, it, it's sitting. It, okay, yes. Um, <laughs> we are a little loopy. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's been it's, two it's, really long days. Guys, thank you so much for coming up and enjoying the beautiful Georgia countryside and cuisine. It was nice. The countryside. <laughs> the the cu cuisine is cuisine is as questionable as this channel is. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, huge thank you for uh, Valvoline yes. for uh, working with us on our Ute build. There's more Ute, Ute building to come. And also huge thanks to editor Dwayne, who's uh, right there. He did a lot of the camera work with his camera. Oh, don't don't take pictures of me. That's you got That's five dollars. So uh, <laughs> thank you to him. Allowed us to get a lot of work done. To yes. Not it's a lot of work to film, so when you have someone doing that for you, it lets you get a lot of work done in a short period of time. So. Absolutely. So, uh, speaking of a lot of work done, you you have to. We're gonna leave you here. You're gonna get yep. some more work done, uh, and then we're gonna um, just mosey on out of here. You know, hit that dusty trail. <laughs> hit that very fiberglass <laughs> dusty trail. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I look forward to seeing your first drive in this thing. Oh, I I can't wait. It's again. It's not the direction I expected, but it's in a direction I absolutely love that we're doing. Yeah, this looks amazing. So, until next time, this is me, Tavarish. I'm Jared. And I'm Jack. And, the, uh, and, I, and I forgot what to say. Reminding uh, you to always make questionable choices. And if a tree falls on your Dodge Charger, ute it. Ute it. Ute it. <laughs> <laughs>